Find out who the murderer is. Do not touch. I will touch. <laughs> the key gardens drama. Okay. That's, oh, Jesus Christ. That scared the crap out of me. Rare achievement unlocked. Finish Abby Garange case. I, I, I didn't get that achievement for the other ones, but okay. Hey guys, my name is Gem Selex and welcome back to some more Let's Play Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. And with that intro, we are starting case number five. We are almost done with this game. Finally, I know. It's like, finally I'm actually putting work into, uh, into this game and not being an idiot. So, I'm curious to see what happens in this episode. Or this episode, this case. But yeah, let's see what happens. Holmes, for heaven's sake, whatever's going on? Oh, hello, Watson. You're early. Did you kill all of your patients? <laughs> what? Holmes, where have all these wretched bees come from? I increased the temperature of the room so as to prevent them from hibernating. I needed to take a sample of honey. But He's crazy. Worked, Watson. We will have honey all year round. Ridiculous and dangerous. They're domestic bees. Apis mellifera. Such industrious workers. Anyway, Watson, I am sorry, but I must leave you. I'm in rather a hurry. You have a new case? Yes, but nothing as thrilling as this experiment. A theft of plants at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. I'm helping a minister who's an old friend of mine. You can join me if you like. Well, I'll admit that I'd far rather accompany you than remain alone here with these workers of yours. Besides, you'll need a helping hand with the flowers you're intending to bring back. Watson, however did you guess? For the great Sherlock Holmes to bother with the theft of plants. <laughs> Come on, admit that you're planning to spoil your little bees with some rare pollens. <laughs> Since when did I become so transparent? Let us go. Okay, we're investigating another murder, obviously. We would not waste our time on something like that. Okay, find the stolen plants from the last... Yeah, stolen plants, my ass. Uh, let's look at this. Uh, yeah, so for the last case, guys, I was... Um, neutral. What the heck? Apparently, the last one was sympathizing, but now it's neutral. Whatever. Uh, okay, that's fine. Today we are wearing a brown like costume. That's fine. I'm just gonna go proceed to put my hat on as usual, guys. Oh, we got a letter. Uh, it might be hate mail, guys. It might be hate mail. <laughs> After the last case, I don't think they were happy about my decisions, but that's okay, because that's what just that's what Justin does. Dem, uh, Gem Gem makes the decisions. So let's go ahead and read what they said. Yeah. Let's see. Mr. Holmes, I'm waiting to inform you that the affair of the Queen's which took place almost half a year ago now, still resorts deeply in high society and remains the subject of much gossip. This case's romantic background has attracted many its suitors who show willing to shelter and take pity on Lady Blessed, but to, to this date she still serves her sentence with her maid, Theresa, and has reject, rejected all, all offers of help. To be truthful, I suspected that the true motivation of these suitors may be well related to the services, title, and money. What do you think, Mr. Holmes? Uh, eh. It's whatever, I really don't care. Alright, whatever. That's just another letter. Okay. Alright, guys. Let's go ahead and proceed to go over to the Key Koo Gartens. Koo Garten, Like Kiwi? Like, I don't know. Let's just go there. Well, okay. Holmes, here we are at the Royal Botanic Gardens. There's no doubt that this place is beautiful. But are you really intent on investigating the theft of the plants? Yes, of course. I guess... That's what we're doing. What? What's going on? Don't touch anything else. Is that clear? Just go and get a bucket of fertilizer. And without turning it over this time. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? If you are here for a visit, please do come back on Sunday. I am afraid that it cannot wait. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. We are investigating the theft of plants that took place here five days ago. A remarkable collection, I believe. So you're the one in charge, eh? A small favor for a friend. Now to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? 
I am Martin Hamish. I am the deputy director of Kew Gardens. And that fellow yonder is Albert. He works here. I am delighted to meet you. What can you tell us about the plants? They were rare and exceptional plants. We presented them at our last exhibition. We haven't removed the stand yet. It is still in the large glass house. We only learned of their disappearance the evening after the exhibition, and nobody saw anything. No doors were forced? No, but I would imagine that for a thief it would be fairly easy to gain entry, for there are no guards here. Well, if you don't mind, we will take a look. Now, you say that it is in the large glass house. Yes, the one just behind me. Just a second, since Albert has nothing else to do. Albert, show these gentlemen where the exhibition was held. How many people work here? Only myself, but occasionally two students, Albert, whom you have met, and Miss White. Okay. Interesting. Here it is. This is the place where the stolen plants were exhibited. Thank you. Is there something the matter? Yes, there is. All right, the plants were valuable and rare, but it seems to me that the tragedy that took place here only two days ago has been entirely forgotten already. What, what? tragedy are you referring to? My... the director of Kew Gardens, Mr. Montague Dunn. He died here just two days ago. We're very sorry. We were not aware. The two of you were good friends? He... he was my father. Oh, jeez. Our condolences. We should not be troubling you. Please do excuse us for the intrusion. You say that he died here, in the large glass house. Holmes? Yes. Just what? here. Near the door to the colonial collection. He suffered a heart attack. Just like that. So suddenly. It was terrible. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I cannot remain here. If you need me, I'll be in the reserve. That's the room next to the front of the large greenhouse. Of course, we understand. I'm just trying to be investigating, examine the place of Dunan's death. Yeah, I knew there was a death behind this. What should we do next, Holmes? Find out who the murderer is. Do not touch. I will touch. The plants. <laughs> that is so me. Alright, um. Let's see. Um. According to oh. Albert, this is where his father, Montague Dunn, was found dead. There's no body. That's insane. Footprints. The traces are thinner in some places. I know. Quite interesting, this. The traces are thinner in some places. Okay, what else? Broken endurance or something? The Esconson was breached near the handle. Okay. Very strange. Half of the colonial collection is absent. Something lying on the floor. Stone chip. Oh, what's this? There's so much to investigate, guys. What is this? This broken fragment was the result of a heavy blow. Yes. What's on the back? A fragment. All right, we'll just take it. Um. Window plants. These windows were window perfectly panes. cleaned. Okay. What about that? The smell is strong. It is a detergent. Part of this greenhouse was emptied. And thoroughly clean. Yes. It was. Alright, what else can we find? You know me, I'm sure like I have to investigate as much as possible. Hold on. There's a clue nearby. Door. Let's the take a door look at the door. Was smashed at shoulder height. Interesting. The door was damaged panel. This door handle is new. It was recently changed. That's insane. The door That's was like forced from the inside of the colonial collection room. The handle was changed afterwards. Well, if we found that handle, that would be awesome. More fragments. All right. Soil. It should have come from a flower pot. The soil on the side of this flower shelf is the same as that on the ground. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Guys, there's so much to investigate. Just, like, I have to, like, really, like, look around. Um, 
So we investigated the door. The door. This door. It's recently changed. The door. The door. Damage panel. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Oh, she that scared me. Breaking point. Okay, so breaking the door. So it's possible that the person just broke through the door like that. Oh, that's really cool how we can see visions like that. He was trying to break it down. Breaking the door. Watch sequence. Okay, so he, boom, he broke it down no, and it he came like that. Well, then which way? Um, which way was it, Sherlock? This one? Is it this way? No, it wasn't like that. Well, then which way was it, Sherlock? I'm just trying to find out. Breaking the door. According to this, they have light. Well, let's see what we have for objectives, first of all. Find the stolen plants from the last position. Examine the place where Winston has met his death. We haven't fully uh, examined that spot right there. Where there is still something that we're missing from over here. Oh, blood. blood. Oh, there we go. That was what I missed. This sign is broken. Something heavy was dropped upon it. Someone fell violently against this sign, and they were injured in the clash. Most likely a head wound. Okay. Can we see that now? Okay, let's look at this plant list, guys. I'm trying my best to Here's examine. A list of the stolen plants. Try my best to figure this out. It's not an easy one, this. This was a little bit of more of a challenge than another mm -hmm. one. Another one was very the other case we did was very uh -huh. easy. Um well, why would they steal plants? It just doesn't make sense. Like who would want plants? I mean Jeez. Anyways guys, we're gonna go ahead and walk away from that. I'm According not sure. According to this, they have light and moisture control in some parts of the building. Uh, I just don't know guys. This is really stumping me According to this This really stumps me because it's like I'm investigating this, but I have no idea what I'm missing These boot marks are fresh. It appears as though someone was dragging their feet The footprints reveal that someone staggered here Okay, well, there's something Oh, okay, he fell on the fence. What the hell? Falling on the fence. Was it possible that he was running away from someone? Let's watch the sequence. No, it wasn't like that. Well, what happened then, Sherlock? You explain to me. Because I have no idea. Footprints dragged. Soil. Fragments. Oh, Jesus, I'm such an idiot. I'm just supposed to examine the fragments? Frag uh, why am I so stupid sometimes? Soil. What does the game want from me? Oh, right there, broken pot. Oh, this Jesus, pot okay. Was broken fairly recently. All right, break it now. Pot recently fell down from these shelves and was misplaced. All the clues around here are quite suspicious. I need my imagination to make sense of it all. You mean the thing that you think of in your head? Alright. So he fell, knocked over the flower plot. Yeah. That makes sense. One, two, three. Wait. That's. Oh, hold on. One, two, fake. That makes sense, right? <laughs> Um, let's go ahead and watch it. And then we see him walking away. I don't understand, like, what's going on. Okay, so he was breaking the door down. Okay, we see that. He was, she was really dizzy and, like, knocked no, the pot. No, it like that. Then what was it like, Watts? Oh, oh it's like you have to do it, like, in order. All right. All right, hold on. Break the door down, knock the flower pot down, and he fell. Like that. Exactly like that. Now, 
Watch. Alright. He was trying to break the door down. He seemed a little dizzy. Knocked the flower pot over. Fell down and hit his head. Thank you. That's what it was like. Jesus, it's like I gotta use my damn This brain. reconstruction reveals a disturbing fact. Montague Dunn damaged the door of the colonial collection room. He was in a panic, or the door was locked. Was it an accident, or a murder then, I wonder? Okay, that's a good question, Watson. I'm still trying to figure out. Find the stolen plants. Okay, what do we have? All right, we have that to investigate. Okay, we did that now. Is that it for tasks? Yes, it is. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here because we've been sitting in this room trying to figure this out. Um, I can look at my clues here, but we just have this right here. So we could, we could put those two right there. Or we could put that together. And we'll start piecing it together. Perform autopsy in the morgue. On Montage Earn, the death is suspicious. Why had he forced the door of the colonial room? Why has someone cleaned and emptied the room? Was it a trap or a simple accident? Okay, so we gotta do an autopsy next. Alright, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode off here. So next time, let's play Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. We will continue this case, case number five. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share. Subscribe to become a gem, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. Oh my god, we're already done? We're already done, guys. We are already done. What the hell? Like, that was the fastest case ever. Alright, I don't care. We're gonna finish this in this episode, and I'm just going to upload a longer video. <laughs> Alright guys, well, let's take a look at what we got so far.